T-minus 10, 9. You're listening to the Launchpad Podcast with J-Man. Brought to you by Galant Media. Here's your host, Ignition J-Man. And thank you once again for having it locked to the Launchpad Podcast. My name is Jason, a.k.a. J-Man. And I hope you are having yourself a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be. However you are listening, I am grateful that you are doing exactly that. Now, I want to apologize. I have not been doing the podcast as consistently as I would like. I want to say that I was too busy. There's a lot of people out there that would slap me on the hand for doing so. The truth is, I guess, is number one, I just have not been making it enough of a priority. And then number two, I've just been kind of all over the place and not doing a very good job with my time management, but I will do better moving forward. Now, it's not to say that I have not been putting out content. I've been doing exactly that a lot on my Facebook Live. And then I thought to myself, shoot, there's a lot of people that are not connected to me on social media, not to mention that this is going out to the world And there are some people that would never find me online other than this podcast, which is kind of why I did it to begin with. So what I'm going to do is share a Facebook Live via this podcast with you. Possibly you have not heard it already because you're not connected to my Facebook or my LinkedIn or whatnot. I'll make sure to put all those destinations online there for you so you can connect with me and I can meet new people and build new relationships and learn new things through them, through you. Uh, So it's really exciting times to be doing this podcast, and it's called Spending Versus Investing, Building a Better Business. There's so many people that don't want to spend, and because they're thinking of money going out, and if they were just to switch their perspective from spending to investing, how their business can potentially change. And it comes from a place of scarcity in a lot of cases. And the reality is one must spend on their business that they want it to grow. Business is all about intention. And if you do not have an intention, if you do not have goals, if you do not have an idea of where you want to be, then it's just not going to happen. And making sure that you're investing in the proper places, number one, yourself, investing in oneself is one of the most important things that you can do. And that is basically what I'm going to talk about in relation to the trade shows that I run and having this obstacle pop up over and over and over again, people not having the money, people not having the time. So if you don't have time or money for your business to grow, then it's time maybe to take a couple of steps back, reevaluate, and make sure that you can do exactly that so your business can grow as big as you would like it. Now, whether you're in business or not, there are going to be some gems, some nuggets in here for you. And thank you once again for tuning in. And I'm just going to get right to the information that I want you to hear. And then I'll catch you on the tail end. Enjoy. Now, I just want to point out that right off the bat, that this is going to be incredibly biased, okay? Like 100% completely biased, but it does not mean that it's not true. Everything I'm gonna share with you right now is true. Now, this comes from my background in traditional business. This comes from my background in MLM, and this also comes from my background in just living life, okay? So I'm gonna tie this into the trade shows that I've been doing with my business partner, Sean. And we just wrapped up a three-day trade show in Petawawa. 10,000 people through the door, 140 vendors, massive. Okay. There's a lot of people that don't want to spend their money on a trade show. There's a lot of people that don't want to spend money on their marketing materials, whether it be a website, whether it be business cards, all that kind of stuff. Uh, They see it as spending opposed to investing in themselves. Now, when it comes to these marketing materials, or possibly if you come from the MLM world and it's about going to trainings uh, or anything of that nature, I remember back in the day where I used to see all that kind of stuff of being uh, an added expense. I'm like, oh my God, I don't wanna, I don't wanna spend that money, right? When the reality was is that going to a training or heading to an event or whatever it might be could potentially put me in front of that one person that absolutely transforms my business or possibly I'm getting one nugget, one idea 
that just changes my brain space to where I'm able to take my business in an entirely different direction and see incredible success right there. Now, the number one obstacle when it comes to sales, and some may argue with me on this, but it's number one, getting people, and then number two, your product in front of those people. And what a trade show does takes a lot of the worry uh, out of your day, uh, especially when it comes to a lot of home-based businesses, which is you know getting on the phone, sending text messages, and trying to get people over to your house for a party, yada, yada, yada. And it's a successful model, right? But uh, it can also be incredibly disheartening. And also, it's incredibly time-consuming. So you know, what would it be worth to have five to 10,000 people walk through your house? Would you pay $150 a day for something like that? I think you would. Yet people won't spend that kind of money on a trade show, right? Or people won't spend that kind of money on a professionally done uh, website. That's where you are investing in yourself, investing in your potential success, opposed to spending money. It's just that switch. It's that change in mindset uh, that stops you from getting distracted with the money that you're spending. And there's actually a lady that I had a conversation with uh, just tonight in regards to believing that she thinks I, I get a little bit caught up too much in distraction and it stops me from focusing on my gift zone which is going out there and talking with people and connecting with people and building relationships and you know what she's absolutely right sometimes I do get way too caught up in distraction that doesn't stop me from kicking ass though uh, and some people look at money as being that distraction and they get they get so caught up in, in spending money uh, that they they forget about what their their dream is like did you think you were going to accomplish uh, your lifelong vision or a dream by only spending you know maybe thirty dollars on on business cards or not wanting to spend a thousand dollars on a website or not spending other money on marketing materials like it never happens like that uh, you know what you need to do is that you need to throw yourself into your dream you need to have faith you need to believe in yourself you have to invest in yourself fully and that just doesn't mean spending money but it means going to the seminars it means reading the books it means reading uh, great material and listening to awesome audio uh, I'm going to give you a couple of examples of uh, some some resistance that I've come across or obstacles in regards to dealing with people and knowing that I want to get them to a trade show that I know is going to enhance their business. Okay, I believe this wholeheartedly or I wouldn't be doing it. We're talking about an average price of about two hundred fifty dollars a booth, right? So I'm dealing with this lady that does body butters, right? And she loves her body butters and they're pretty cool and I know they're going to sell well. And she's apprehensive to spend this $300 on a booth. And I'm like, all you have to do is sell 15 body butters. If you can't sell 15 body butters to, <laughs> sounds funny to say, if you can't sell 15 body butters over a, a two day period or a three day period, like what are you doing in business alone? That doesn't tell me that you have a lot of faith in your product, but that's all you have to do. Uh, now maybe you don't have a product that you can actually sell at a showcase. Like maybe you, know, you, you pave driveways or something of that nature. Uh, how many leads can you generate? At our last Petawawa showcase, uh, there was a person that had something like 10 or 15 pages worth of leads. Uh, and he had dozens upon dozens upon dozens of appointments lined up. Like if one of those come through, he's going to make two, three thousand dollars and all he spent was 300. Like the mathematics just speak for themselves. It's just investing in the process and I'm not saying that you have to do it with us you can do it with other people I'm just saying to invest in yourself in general please absolutely do that not to mention the business to business thing I want to give you an example of how this has changed lives uh, there was this lady uh, that that has been coming to the shows for quite some time and she has apparently uh, perfected uh, pickled turnip now there's also a shawarma restaurant uh, called Matamique in Petawawa and they came across her recipe, said you perfected it, and then decided that they were going to start ordering barrels upon barrels upon barrels from that person in particular, opposed to driving all the way to Ottawa to get their order. That is something that absolutely changed her life. She wasn't even sure if she was able to fulfill those orders, and she decided to move through with it. What happened a little bit later on that weekend? Independent grocer said, we want your product on our shelves. Like, stuff like this happens. Uh, there were a couple of people that were selling items at our at our show that had sold $10,000 worth of product in a three-day period. So if they didn't have a belief in their product, if they didn't have the intention, if they didn't make that investment, 
that would have never happened. Uh, and there's a lot of people that are in my network right now that have been to these trade shows. If you have been, please feel free to make a comment. I'm always big on likes and loves uh, because this will get this out to more people. Uh, and we're looking to take Petawawa Showcase on the road. And we want to be a trade show where people can confidently invest money in us and invest money in themselves uh, so we can have other people come to our shows and invest in them as well. So I hope this wasn't too much of a rant, I believe. Uh, so thank you, as always, for taking the time to hear what I have to say. I have such a great network, such a great public. Thank you for investing uh, in me. Uh, and investing doesn't always mean spending money. Remember that. There's a lot of information that's out there that's free. Take advantage of a table that you can get somewhere for free. Go out there and do your research and find out how you can get your wares in front of other people opposed uh, to always having to go out there and, and have to do it yourself. That's what we serve as. Uh, there's a reason why there's so many of these trade shows, leisure shows, or whatever show it might be. Uh, it's because they want to do the work for you, and that's what you're paying for. You're paying to have other people bring uh, the leads to you. Now, in a lot of cases, you're paying five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. You know, we're doing it at an incredibly respectable price point, and we're not greedy either. We could be making lots of money on parking, like lots of money on parking. We could be <laughs> making lots of money on a mission, and it hurts me a little bit inside each and every time. <laughs> but no, but know that we're truly uh, doing this for you the general public and of course fellow entrepreneurs uh, because Sean and I are incredibly invested in helping people get to that next level uh, in their business whether it be through a website whether it be through uh, like labels uh, that's what brings us joy uh, so the more joy that we can bring and the more value that we can add to the marketplace you know that's the, that's the bigger footprint we leave and that's an opportunity for us to uh, leave a legacy behind so thank you very much for listening you take care be well Love simply because you can and hope to see you at Showcase. If you want any information, just shoot me a message. And there it is. Spending versus investing, building a better business. I hope you enjoyed episode nine of the Launchpad podcast. I hope that you were able to pull out some nuggets and some value from what I had to say. And I want to make sure that I say it personally once again for you to take care, be well, and love simply because you can. And I'll make sure to put all the information you need below in the info so you can connect with me and we can build a better business together. I think I'm going to finish my podcast with my old outro line when I used to be on the radio. J-Man saying as always, I'm outie like a belly button. <laughs> you take her easy.